All right, welcome back to Digital Perspectives, everybody. It is whiteboard time. We are going to break down the Judy Shelton gold bond backed dollar system that she has proposed from the Jack Kemp conference back in 2017. I think we all know that she's been a big fan of a back to the future gold standard that could be done in a cryptocurrency way, as she has said many times. And uh, I've had several requests if I could go back and try to break down the structure of what we know about her idea of doing this system as best I can so it's a little easier to understand. And we're going to do that today. And I just want to show you guys really quickly before we get started, Digital Perspectives, I've just completed an educational courses. Uh, you can get educational courses over overview of BTC, Ethereum, uh, obviously Ripple XRP, and also for people who are new to the space and need to understand what cryptocurrency is, there's a lesson there on that, as well as a tax lesson that involves Clinton Donnelly, the tax fixer, crypto tax fixer. So really great stuff. You guys should check out all of that. Make sure you sign up for the monthly newsletter. There will be things that are exclusive to that newsletter that will not be on the show, and you're going to want to have them. I'm pretty sure of it. So make sure you sign up for that. Let's get to this and get right down into this today. So Looking at the SEC site for Ripple's La Ripple Labs, nothing new yet on the IPO front or trademark front right now. Last thing was the pay ID and the block stars for the podcast, and we're going to continue to monitor that. Let's start before we get into the Judy Shelton uh, idea of her gold back system. Let's just talk about this really quickly. It comes from SBI R3. Now listen to this. Swiss regulated bank SEBA. SEBA Bank plans to tokenize digital securities using Corda Network. It seems the institution's digital assets can be traded more safely and with liquidity, the total cost of ownership can be reduced. This is pretty remarkable stuff right here because I think we all have had plenty of conversations about the idea that XRP could be the back end settlement for your entire derivatives market. And this is exciting to me, I must tell you. So I expect to see this continue to happen around the world. So we're just gonna keep an eye on that. I think that's a great little piece of information right there. Shout out to SBI R3 Japan. And here's a little spot that I just wanted to highlight. You know, we've been covering this. This is from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and it's on the Federal Register. And I just wanted to highlight this again from Han Solo, Electronic Funds Transfer Act going into effect July 20th requires remittance transfer, transfers to show customers exact amounts coincides with the appointment of Judy Shelton to the Fed board on the same day, which is actually voted on tomorrow, actually. But nevertheless... Ripple and XRP is mentioned in Citation 59. Some people didn't read the document to understand how it impacts the remittance market and Ripple partners. Like MoneyGram, it's kind of a snore, but uh, interesting bits are in there. The amendment to the EFTA is directed at companies like MoneyGram who aren't insured institutions and not covered by the exemptions. So it's it, we've gone over this extensively. It is a pretty remarkable thing to see this happening. And we are going to keep an eye on it to see how that continues to develop. I think it is a really, really cool thing that that is coming into play at the same time they are going to vote on Judy Shelton. Guys, if you haven't seen the new channel, uh, Digital Ledger channel, I suggest you go over and check that channel out. Just did a video. Very big news with the PayPal bringing crypto to the 325 million users that they currently have. Pretty remarkable. I'd say we call that mass adoption, right? So definitely make sure you check that video out. And this really quickly before we get going to set the tone here, uh, Jude, Judd Gregg, uh, when the dollar is worth 60 cents, and it basically goes in here and talks about the fact that just in the last two months of the federal fiscal year, the deficit run up by our government has exceeded $1.3 trillion dollars. To give some context to the gigantic size of this spending, these two months of deficits exceed by a factor of three, the largest annual deficit generated during the term of President Bush and blow past the largest 
annual deficit run by President Obama. There's problems in the midst, right? So, you know, now let's go to the actual diagram. I want to go there now. So let's go here. So here's what I did. I did a virtual whiteboard. Now, my graphics are not as good as Liquid XRP or Savvy XRP. And I would normally reach out to Savvy, who's amazing, and get uh, him to help me with the diagram. But I had to put this thing together so quickly, I just had to do it. So forgive me. It's not the best looking whiteboard, but we're going to use it for all intents and purposes. I believe it will help to um, create a clearer picture for people. A lot of people are more visual, you know, when they learn. So, okay, so the Judy Shelton Goldback Bond System, one, people would create a digital dollar. Now, she has not specified that, so you could see this system in its current fiat paper form, right, paper fiat form, excuse me, or you could choose to see it in the central bank digital currency, digital dollar form that we know it's going to. So I wrote central bank digital currency for all of these, which we understand are working towards that now. Okay, so just to be clear with that. So number one, she proposes that you create a new financial instrument from the U.S. Treasury, domestically speaking about the U.S. And that would be a new financial instrument created. Now, this could be done in a digital form. It could be tokenized, this bond that they're creating. So keep that in mind. But this bond is understandably redeemable for gold and cash. So if you were to buy a bond, let's just say for a simple understanding, for one ounce of gold and you paid the current price of 1800 whatever dollars of that gold is today when that bond matures you could get the dollar cash value physically paid to you or you could choose to receive the actual physical gold the one ounce of gold for that bond now then she goes further on to propose that each country creates their own bond for their currency now, this would provide a bond market behind all of the major currencies around the world. Now, over on this side are my thoughts added to Judy Shelton's gold backed bond system, where I propose that we understand XRP to be like a spoken wheel, interchangeable with all the currencies. And if you really do understand XRP to be a currency also, then it's not very difficult to see that XRP could settle and exchange all of these currencies, whether they be paper fiat currencies or digital dollars, because this could be done on the ledger and then you have an actual tracking of that transaction. And obviously, it XRP ledger, as far as I'm concerned, is the universal highway of the new financial system so and I'm sure there will be other highways too but right now we're talking about this so now how does this benefit trade how does this benefit everybody backing their dollar as it is paper fiat or tokenized how does this benefit well the way it benefits in my estimation is that you're restoring confidence back behind the dollars, the major currencies of the world again. We are in a crisis, and it's not just a health pandemic. I went over this morning how they're working at the G20 for the suspension of debt for a lot of countries. That conversation could potentially grow into a debt cancellation conversation should we probably have another surgence or if we were to have another surgence excuse me of the pandemic again so if you wonder like how this could play in imagine that there's a bond market behind all of these major currencies now that is backed by physical gold it is redeemable by physical gold so what does that mean does that mean that currency manipulation will stop? No. 
currency manipulation can still continue, but the country that is doing any manipulation of their currency is the one to suffer. Because if you add in the notion of a neutral reference point on top of gold being a neutral reference point, because you really have two layers of a neutral reference point, gold being physical redeem, physically redeemable at that bond as well as the cash really puts you in a situation where you can choose if the country, let's say U.S. deals with China. We know China does a lot of manipulation. Whether they want to admit it, so does the United States. But the reality is, is if you wanted to, you could say, hey, as me working back and forth through these corridors, I've bought bonds to shore up what I need to do in this country, right? I did it and I bought and backed bonds and, and they could do vice versa. If there's any manipulation on the bonds that you're holding, you could choose to not receive the cash because of the manipulation that's taking place and get the gold instead. Because it would still be one ounce of gold no matter what manipulation, manipulation took place to the currency. This is using gold, as Judy Shelton says, as a neutral reference point to try to calm or tame the currency manipulation. My thought is, is that that's fine. On the back end of that system, you've done exactly that with a gold bond market that's physically redeemable where you can not accept the cash. But they can still manipulate the, the, the currency for their country and it will be something they can do with inside of their borders. But if you set XRP in the middle of all of this as an exchange, a bridge asset to trade and supply chains, FX markets, derivatives markets, and all of these things, what you've really done is create another neutral reference point asset that now isolates all the manipulation of all the currencies. So now, whatever manipulation takes place of printing or what have you in each country, it stays within their borders. Because there's no need for you to hold a Chinese yuan anymore. There's no need for you to hold a U.S. token unless you choose to anymore around the world. If you're in the U.K. and you need to switch to a Japanese yen, obviously we see the exchange here. I just feel like the Judy Shelton gold back bond system certainly has something to it. It has some weight to it. And I tell you, if she's nominated tomorrow and they confirm her, which they said she has the votes to do so, it will carry a lot more weight. All right, I'm going to cut it right there because I just wanted to put this video together really quickly to show in a visual way how the bond market would work behind each one of the currencies and how the bond is redeemable for gold as well as cash. If any manipulation were to take place outside of your favor, you would simply elect to receive the ounce of gold, and that keeps everybody a little more honest. However, if you don't have XRP in the middle of all this, I believe the friction still exists and the problems really still exist from the paper fiat world in the new digital world, unless you use XRP. All right, guys, hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really excited to hear you guys' thoughts on this one. And make sure you share this with somebody you know. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.